Welcome to the Academy of Modern Martial Arts and our step-by-step -step Tai Chi instruction. Today we're going to look at movement number 17 of the 24 movement form, Snake Creeps Down the Mountain Right. Snake Creeps Down the Mountain Right is a duplicate of what we did in our last lesson, Snake Creeps Down the Mountain Left. Since today's movement is identical while being performed on the opposite side of the body, we will look at it on its own merits, and then we will also spend some time looking at the two movements together as a pair, just the way they are put together in the form. We will also make certain to view the movements from two different angles today. For our purpose today, we're going to begin with Golden Rooster stands on left leg, and we're gonna have crunched and brought everything to the middle, and then we're stabilizing on top of that left leg. We're going to go from a pointed toe, we're gonna to flex the heel, and we're gonna send that heel to the floor. As we're sending the heel to the floor, we're going to, once that heel touches the floor, we're going to allow the hands to come forward, along with our weight coming out of that left heel, turning the left heel to the inside, and then rocking our weight back onto the left. And as the arms move out to the left, we sink, and we're going to extend the right heel forward, we're then going to again turn, point toward the heel, come up, allowing the top of that right wrist to be the apex of that hand. We're going to push the weight over and crunch and coalesce on top of the right leg this time. So from another angle where Golden Rooster stands on the left leg, we have just come out of our uh, low single whip. <clears throat> We're going to flex the heel, place that heel on the floor. And as we do, we're going to allow the hands and our weight to move forward over that right leg, just enough to come out of that right left heel. And then we're going to move back onto that left leg. And as the hands come out, we're counterbalancing and we're sending that right heel to the floor. We're going to turn, pointing at the foot, coming up and out bringing our hips over that right leg, and Golden Rooster stands on the right leg. Now, since uh, Snake Creeps Down the Mountain on the left is closely, almost identically related to Snake Creeps Down the Mountain on the right, let's go ahead and perform the transition from one movement into our next movement, movement number 16 into movement number 17. Once again, we'll do it facing the camera. So from the side first, we're going to extend out, we're gonna bring it back, we're going to relax and counterbalance the hands going out with the heel. We're going to sink through the hips, relaxing, moving down on one leg, over onto the other leg and up. We're going to crunch, bring the body together and coalescing over that left leg. We're going to send the right heel to the floor. And all we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to allow our weight to move over that front foot enough to turn that left heel in and then we're going to rock back onto that left and again we'll counterbalance the hands with that right heel going out and then again turn toward forward and crunch and bring it all up for golden rooster stands on the right leg so from our kick extending out extending through the left heel bringing it back in either touching down for balance or leaving it up we're going to send the hands out forward to the right as the leg goes to the left. We're going to relax into the hips and roll through the pelvis, bring our hips towards that left leg, push with the right toes, crunch, pulling ourselves into the center and dropping out of that tailbone. Golden Rooster stands on the left leg. We're going to extend the right heel to the floor. We're going to move those hands forward with our weight and we're going to let it all swing back to the left as the right heel goes out. And we're going to turn over that right leg and come up and the golden rooster stands on the right leg. One more time, just to keep this, this series of movements as simple as possible. While there are as many different variations for this uh, movement as there are variations in its name, very simply, we're lowering ourselves on one leg, moving over, coming up on a new leg, dropping down on that leg, moving over, and coming back up on the first leg. So here we go from the side at its most simple. Our weight is on the right leg. We have just finished kicking with that left heel. We bring that left foot back in. 
We stabilize for a moment, placing the ball of the foot on the floor. We're going to allow the hands to come out and we lower ourselves down on the right leg, sending the empty left out. From being lower on the right leg, we're gonna move through the center, relax through your pelvis and hips, align everything over the new leg, crunch and pull everything on top of the left leg. From here, we keep our weight on the left leg. We extend the empty right heel to the floor. Once it hits the floor, we move our weight forward shifting the left heel. And now we're going to lower ourselves on the left leg, sending that right heel out. Then we're going to pass again through the center. We're going to move our weight over the right and we're going to come up on top of that right leg. If we do that headed towards the center, so you can see it straight on, we begin having again finished our kick with left heel. We pull it in. Again, we either set it down or set through, we're going to turn past the center, move on top of that left leg, crunch, set the right heel on the floor, offload the weight just enough to move the left heel, sink down on the left, sending that right heel out, move all the way back over across and through the center to the right leg, crunching up on top of the right leg. And there's your series. Once again, thank you for joining us. We hope that you had fun and that you found something valuable along the way. As always, if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do to assist you in your efforts at home, please drop us a line and let us know. Have a great day.